Hey, welcome back. Glad you're here for a mini message today. We want to continue looking at Exodus chapter 2. Before we get to Exodus chapter 3, which is one of the most important passages that we find, not just the Old Testament, but throughout the entirety of the Bible, but we got to get Moses to the burning bush first. But in verse 15 of Exodus chapter 2, and remember Moses has killed this Egyptian and he hid the body. Then in verse 15 it says, And sure enough, Pharaoh heard what had happened, and he tried to kill Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in the land of Midian. When Moses arrived in Midian, he sat down beside a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters who came as usual to draw water and fill the water troughs for their father's flocks. But some of the other shepherds came and chased them away. So Moses jumped up and rescued the girls from the shepherds. Then he drew water for their flocks. And when the girls returned to rule their father, he asked, Why are you back so soon today? An Egyptian, an Egyptian rescued us from the shepherds, they answered, and then he drew water for us and watered our flock. So Moses is fleeing for his life here. And what's interesting here is he was raised in Pharaoh's house as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. And yet still, when it came to any issue between a Israelite and an Egyptian, no question. This goes back to that very close society. It it was very, very um, uh, racist, xenophobic society that Israel had in dealing with Egypt. Now, the Egyptians were very, very closed off to having any type of relationship with anyone, especially the Israelites. So Moses being taken into the house, period, was a big deal. And so he's kicked out immediately, and he has to flee. He flees to the land of Midian. So if he had gone somewhere else, he would not have found the um, the safety he was looking for uh, because he could have been found and sent back. So he goes to the land of Midian that did not have some of the diplomatic and treaties and things that some of the other countries in the area like the Hittites had with the Egyptians. So he flees there and he comes across this priest of Midian's daughters and he meets these daughters and these the, all of these people, the Midianites themselves are descendants of Abraham. So one of Abraham's children through another wife that he had. After Sarah died, Moses, or excuse me, Abraham did marry some other people. And one of those was a lady named Keturah, and she had a child named Midian. And so here we have the Midianites. And that explains why when you look in Scripture, you see this priest of God, right, that is following God and yet it's not an Israelite. There were other groups that were still following the Lord to a large extent, and many of them, they were offshoots of the line of Abraham. There's some of these other children uh, besides Isaac. Isaac was the son of promise, right? The covenant is coming down through him, but these other children learned about worshiping God and who God was from their father, just like Isaac did. And so... Moses kind of finds himself in some friendly territory in that fashion. And it's a blessing to him as God uses his time to shape him. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow.